Hey guys, this is uh, Dan from uh, Fisher Jeep Adventures, and today uh, we're going to be installing a tail light or a uh, receiver uh, four pin connector uh, on Jacob's Jeep. Now, Jacob's Jeep is a 2020 uh, Jeep Wrangler. It did not come with a tow hitch, uh, so it doesn't have the tow prep package. Uh, so, we went ahead and we bought a product from Kurt, uh, which is a custom harness uh, made specifically for his Jeep. That will uh, plug directly into the factory taillight harness, and all you have to do is run a power wire in the ground. So um, if your Jeep doesn't have a uh, trailer tow package and you wanna see how to install that uh, wiring harness, uh, please check out the video. All right, so Jacob's Jeep has got a aftermarket Smittybilt bumper with an integrated um, trailer hitch that'll tow uh, 5,000 pounds. Uh, which exceeds the towing capacity of the Jeep, of course. Um, but he wants to tow a trailer. And uh, in order to make it legal, we have to have lights. So we're going to go ahead and install that uh, harness. So let's take a look at what comes in the package. Okay, so inside of the container, the Kurt uh, 56407 uh, wiring harness are the T connectors you need to connect between the tail lights, uh, and that's what's going to give you your turn signal and your brake lights. They plug right in between the factory harness, and then that it leads to a control box which manages that signal. You have a power wire and a ground, and then you have your four pin connector, of course. So this mounts uh, down on the frame. They give you plenty of cable to make it up to the front of the vehicle to the battery and then they give you a fused connection um, for that. You have installation instructions and then of course the kit, uh, some zip ties and the fuse itself. So it should be pretty easy. Uh, we just got to pop the tail lights out and you do that by accessing uh, the single screw uh, or bolt that holds the tail light assembly in and I'll show you where that is. So we're in the back of the Jeep and this cover right here underneath this cover is the one um, access point you need to release the tail light assembly. It's the same on both sides. So you can see it there and we'll just pop those covers off with a screwdriver. All right. So once you pop that cover off, that exposes this plastic bolt, which uses a T40 um, Torx bit, which comes included in your Jeep toolkit. So the wrench and the uh, T40 is right there, and we'll go ahead and uh, let that assembly. It's basically a plastic uh, bolt with a spring on it that holds tension on the uh, assembly itself. All right, you can see that end of that plastic bolt right there. So we just left it in place. It goes into that part of the tail light. Then there is the wiring harness. So it really pops out super easy. So in order to break this harness apart, you just got to pull the safety clip. All right, now I just used a pick uh, to get up underneath this little red tab and pull it back. And then there's another tab underneath it that you've got to lift up on. And then you just wiggle that apart. All right, now that we got the light out of the way, we got to do a few things. We need to find a place to mount the control box, and we're going to do that right <laughs> against this piece with some double sided tape. And then we got to find a ground location, and we're going to use one of these tabs, um, or this piece right here. Um, and we're going to drill a 332nd hole and then use the provided screw. All right, so we're just cleaning that surface with an alcohol prep. We did the same on the back of the control box. And then we'll make sure that it's clean and dry to absorb, to go ahead and add that double-sided tape. All right, so this is the double-sided tape that they uh, provided. We're just gonna peel off one edge. And we're gonna take the control box and just press that down. All right, so to get prepared, we had to run a few things. We had to add in the power wire. We had to put the green sided connector, which is for the passenger side, through this hole in the back, along with the four blade wire. 
And so what we're gonna do now is, since we have everything where we need it to be, we're gonna go ahead and install this see there it's mounted right up against the uh, wall so now for the power connection uh, we took the black wire from the module I'm using a lever nut because it's a, just a good secure connection and they basically just go in like that And you type that down and now it's nice and tight. So we'll cover that with electrical tape and move on to the ground wire. All right, so we just took some 80 grit sandpaper and sanded up on that flange and then used the self-tapping screw um, to uh, put the ground on the body and then just covered it with some paint. That way um, we got a good strong connection, but yet we've coated it as well. All right, so now that we got everything else done, we have the box installed, the ground wire, we had the power wire made up. So now it's time. So on the driver's side, it uses the one with the yellow connector. And so all we're gonna do is just feed these into their respective places. And you should hear the click, push the safety on. And then the same is gonna be true for this side. Click, safety, and then this just goes right back in uh, like you had it um, installed from the factory. All right, so the passenger side isn't much different. Uh, you just run the wire harness up from below. Just take the, once you've released the, the safety lock, just Put a pick up underneath there. And it just pops right out. So we'll make this connection. You can see how this has got ears here and it just fits right in there like that. Here's the click, safety lock. And then that plugs in, same system. Click, safety lock. And then it just feeds back in. All right, so the biggest thing you have left is getting the wiring all straight. So I usually try to follow a factory harness. For this, since we have an aftermarket muffler, um, this whole space is wide open. So we just ran the wires behind the heat shield, came out and then followed the factory harness up. And then we'll run the power wire all the way to the frame and uh, along the frame up to the engine compartment. So you can see we got a little bit left to go and so we'll go up to the engine compartment and make that connection at the battery. All right, so we're up here. So this is where we're gonna make the connection. You can see we already have a bunch of different accessories attached to it, uh, but we're gonna connect to this terminal. So I fished this wire up from the frame. As you remember, it comes from the back. So it comes with plenty of wire. Our next step is to take um, the fuse connector and put it in between uh, the power wire and the battery itself. All right, so um, now there, the connectors they provide you will be perfectly fine um, in this application. Uh, so they give you the appropriate uh, 10 gauge wire, um, butt terminals and ring terminal for the battery. I like to use heat shrink. So I have my own uh, heat shrink. And then I wanted a, a terminal ring in that was going to be more appropriately sized to the battery i have so their stuff works i just uh, have better stuff so i'm going to use that so the first step is to slide one end of the butt connector over top of 
the power wire coming back. And then we're gonna slide the other one Then we're just gonna take our heat gun. All right. Now we have a nice sealed uh, waterproof connection. So all we're gonna do with the ring terminal is the same thing. There we go. All we gotta do is make the battery connection now. All right, so the last step is to add in the 10 amp fuse, which goes right in the fuse holder. And this fuse is to, uh, if you if you're wondering why it has a fuse and needs powers, uh, the power lead is what powers that module. So again, this was the uh, Kurt uh, wiring harness for the Jeep Wrangler uh, to be able to have a four pin uh, connection uh, for a trailer. So I uh, hope you guys got something from the video. Um, I appreciate you watching. Um, if there's anything, um, if you don't mind, check the links in the description below for some of the parts that we bought. Um, if you're interested in some of the things that we've purchased and I'll put a link down there for this. Um, Please check on those links where Amazon affiliates. It doesn't cost any more, but it helps us out. So like I said, hope you guys got something from the video. Uh, this is Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures. And uh, we just finished our install of our uh, four pin wiring harness for Jacob's Jeep.